Presented by Listen Headlines, latest world news from trusted sources. WorldCBSNews.com. November 8, 1924 America New York, China uses mock U.S. warships for missile target practice. New satellite images show China's military has been using mock-ups of U.S. warships for target practice. A Pentagon spokesman said the U.S. continues to be concerned about China's increasingly coercive behavior. WorldCBSNews.com. November 8, 1920 America New York, U.S. lifts international travel ban. The U.S. is reopening its borders to non-essential travelers from dozens of countries. Travelers must be vaccinated against COVID or test negative. Errol Barnett shares the details. BBC News World. November 8, 1910 America New York. Desperate Afghans turn to people smugglers for help fleeing the country. People smugglers tell the BBC the number of Afghans leaving has more than doubled since the Taliban takeover. BBC News World. November 8, 1855 America New York. Ghislaine Maxwell to challenge accusers' memories. The British socialite will challenge allegations she groomed girls for Jeffrey Epstein to sexually abuse. November 8, 1853 America New York. Analysis. Rick Scott has no opinion about a Senate candidate accused of strangling his wife. The allegations are striking. RT World News. November 8, 1849 America New York. Dozens of elementary school children killed in classroom blaze in Niger. At least 26 school children aged 5 to 6 were killed in a blaze in southern Niger after a thatched roof classroom caught on fire, local officials said, with more than a dozen others injured, some critically. November 8, 1834 America New York. Analysis. COVID-19 vaccine debate takes a strange turn. The COVID-19 vaccine debate is getting weird. On Twitter, Texas Republican Senator Ted Cruz accused Big Bird of pushing government propaganda. Dot for your five-year-old, after the Muppet tweeted about getting the shot in his wing. New York Times World News. November 8, 1833 America New York. With tears, hugs and balloons, U.S. allows vaccinated foreign travelers to enter. On Monday, after more than 18 months, Restrictions that kept families separated and cost the global travel industry hundreds of billions of dollars were lifted. Deborah and Sergio Vittorini flew from Sao Paulo, Brazil, to see their daughter Natalia and her weeks-old son. New York Times World News. November 8, 1829 America New York. Military can't find ISIS safe house that prompted Kabul drone strike. The Pentagon's latest admission illustrates the botched intelligence behind the strike that mistakenly killed 10 civilians in August. Mirror World News, November 8, 1826 America New York, youngest mum, five, on record forced to have C-section to give birth to son. Lena Medina, from Peru, fell pregnant after conditioned precocious puberty matured her sexual organs early. She gave birth to a healthy six pounds baby. November 8, 1811 America New York. Fact check. Deceptive Republican attack ad uses images from Trump presidency to depict chaos under Biden. A new national television ad from House Republicans campaign arm deceptively uses images of events that occurred during former President Donald Trump's time in office to attack President Joe Biden's tenure. November 8, 1804 America New York. Five takeaways from day eight of COP26. Obama swipes at Trump. Big fossil fuel producers block progress. The second week of the COP26 climate summit in Glasgow, Scotland, has begun, and things are starting to heat up. November 8, 1803 America New York, Nicaraguan exiles blame Ortega regime for attacks and threats, as the strongman secures a fifth term in office. The man's voice trembled as he spoke, standing in the middle of an open field in southern Nicaragua. He was tense, despite the cool breeze and the mid-morning sunshine. New York Times World News. November 8, 1803 America New York. More than 40 nations pledged to cut emissions from their health industries. The plans, while short on specifics, represent a notable step toward cutting greenhouse gas emissions from hospitals and the healthcare industry, a sizable emitter globally. The healthcare industry currently accounts for almost 5% of global greenhouse gas emissions. CNN.com World. November 8, 1803 America New York, Nicaraguan exiles blame Ortega regime for attacks and threats, as the strongman secures a fifth term in office. 
The man's voice trembled as he spoke, standing in the middle of an open field in southern Nicaragua. He was tense, despite the cool breeze and the mid-morning sunshine. November 8, 1802 America New York, Operations Plan for Astroworld Festival did not include contingency for surging crowd. A detailed operations plan for the Astroworld Music Festival in Houston didn't include a specific contingency for a surging crowd incident despite three people being trampled and hospitalized at the same festival in 2019. November 8, 1758 America New York, Internet goes wild for Adele's blooper reel. Adele doesn't go easy on me when it comes to posting her own bloopers. CNN's Jean Moose reports. November 8. 1751 America New York, Robinhood discloses breach that exposed information of millions of customers. Robinhood said Monday it was hit by a data breach earlier this month that exposed information on millions of customers and that hackers later demanded an extortion payment. New York Times World News. November 8, 1738 America New York, Justice Department. Brings new charges in ransomware attacks. The department said it had charged a Russian national in one attack and recovered $6.1 million in ransom. It also arrested a Ukrainian man for another attack. Christopher A. November 8, 1738 America New York, the CDC added two countries to its list amid a surge in COVID-19 cases in Europe. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention added two northwestern European countries to its list of very high-risk travel destinations this week amid a surge in cases in Europe that a WHO official has said is of grave concern. November 8, 1738 America New York, Josh Hawley and that left-wing attack on manhood. No doubt about it, there's a lot to worry about in the country these days, COVID. Inflation. Poverty. Polarized politics. Democracy itself. Time, November 8, 1723 America New York, inside the new basketball league paying high schoolers six-figure salaries. Most high school hoops players across America, if they're lucky, travel to their games in a yellow school bus. They might, if they're lucky, compete in front of the local junior college scout. November 8, 1721 America New York, hear the lone survivor shot by Kyle Rittenhouse testify in court. Gage Grosskreutz, the lone survivor shot by Kyle Rittenhouse in Kenosha, Wisconsin, testified in court. CNN's Shimon Prokopes reports on what Grosskreutz's testimony means for the defense.